So we haven't shut down the ESC yet. Um, I don't know what happened. The ESC is not even hot. It's cold to the touch. It's actually just barely a, a bit warm. Um, if you smell it, it kind of smells bad, like if something were to go burned out. Receiver pack is totally fine. The lights on the bottom, that one's orange. The one on the side's orange, so we have no flashing. Battery's not even that bad. It's, I would say, a tad bit over room temperature, maybe 80 degrees. Totally cold. Motor, not even hot. Um, I really don't know what to say. I don't know what is wrong with it. I think it's the Castle ESC uh, issues. And it, I don't think this is the, yeah, it's not the ice too, so something clearly blue on it. So, don't know what happened, but as you see, that was a very quick auto rotation saving. Save the helicopter if you hear it's making this beeping. Don't know what that means. I'll have to hook it up on the computer and see what it, it means, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, here, look, can you hold this really quick? Here, I'm gonna disconnect the battery really quick since we have not shut it off yet. And also to mention, it was only going for two minutes and 45 seconds on the radio. Not even, I think it was two minutes and 30 seconds and I land at three minutes. So we're gonna disconnect this battery. Let's see if it powers up. Okay, move a little bit away from the hook. As you see, full power. And nothing happening. All the ESC wires are all plugged in. Nothing has come disconnected. Nothing seems to have shortened out, so. Oh, and also, here, if I can get that camera also. Many of you guys know, I don't know yet what this means. It's an, a solid orange light with red flashing. And you see, and it looks like something down there has happened. So, yeah, another ESC, another Castle ESC issue. As you see, whole thing's totally fine. Obviously, just a little of an, a little auto rotation with very uh, with a hard punch during shutoff. So good thing that it's running a uh, external battery because that's what saves the helicopter. I don't think that ESC is very uh, sustain sustainable of power probably. So as you see you guys, that's why you run a uh, beat an extra and an ex like a backup source. As you see this is my the battery. Just plug straight into here. We're into the uh, battery port on the AR-7010X AR receiver. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I guess something blew on the ESC, like those issues. So, thanks for watching, and at least, uh, at least you got to see it on video. And my auto rotation seemed to be very nice. A little bit scary, though, because it wasn't uh, a very planned one. It was with a lot of power. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, keep updated for more future videos. Here's the JR-12X. Shut this down. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't watched uh, part one of the flight with the auto rotation, thanks for watching, guys. From me, more from me, and Lloyd. Oh yeah.